are all aware, under the able leadership of His Excellency the President, this government has, over the last two years, been able to make significant progress in stabilizing the macroeconomy of our Ghana, which is the only foundation that allows the private sector to thrive. I'd like to assure you that the government will support your efforts at exporting your products, not only to the ECOWAS region, but across the length and breadth of our continent. I'm glad to be here with you today at the commissioning of three new factory plants of Unilever Ghana Limited. It is a happy day not only for Unilever, but also for our nation and the companies to be commended for its continued presence in and partnership with Ghana, a partnership which has spanned nearly a century and has proved to be largely beneficial for the stakeholders involved. Unilever has become a household name in Ghana with millions and millions of Ghanaians on a daily basis using products the company manufactures here in our country. On behalf of the Ghanaian people and their government, I express the appreciation of the nation to Unilever Ghana Limited for its many years of service to the growth of our nation. My government set out to build the most business-friendly economy in Africa. Through the abolition of nuisance taxes, reduction of utility tariffs, and the introduction of reforms to the process of, to the ease of doing business in the country, we have succeeded, albeit modestly, in creating a conducive business climate where the macroeconomic fundamentals are all pointing in the right direction, spurring on the growth of the private sector. Our goal is to unleash the innovative and entrepreneurial instincts of the Ghanaian private sector to drive rapid growth and job creation. And I'm confident that we are on course to realizing this important goal. I assure shareholders management and staff of Unilever and the people of Ghana that my government will work to create a stable macroeconomic framework and positive outlook for businesses. The days when economic indicators went haywire and through the roof are over. The death days of disarray in our public finances, the reason for our recent marriage with the IMF are over. We have just enacted a fiscal rule which caps the fiscal deficit at a maximum of 5% and have committed ourselves to a debt to GDP ratio of a maximum of 65%. We are determined to provide stability to our economy to serve as the foundation of its sustainable and rapid growth. The goal of my government remains constant. We aim to unlock the full potential of the private sector and the Ghanaian sense of enterprise to create jobs and prosperity for all Ghanaians and to position Ghana as a preferred investment destination. The government I lead is a natural cheerleader for the private sector and it is my sincere wish that Unilever and indeed the Ghanaian private sector will take advantage of the growing business-friendly climate in the country to invest further in Ghana.